So this strategy is called placemat and uh, what I've done is I've given every group a large sheet of paper with our topic in the middle. So that's the heart of our discussion today. So our discussion today is factors that influence attitudes towards alcohol, tobacco and other drugs. Um, what you want to do is divide up your sheet, since there's four of you, into four sections so everybody has an opportunity to write equally on your sheet. And I'm going to give you about a minute to jot down as many ideas that you can come up with for factors that influence your attitude towards those uh, alcohol, tobacco and drugs. And after a minute I'll bring you back and I'll, I'll share our next strategy. So make sure everybody gets a, a spot to write and you guys can uh, put down any ideas, kind of brainstorm in a place, placemat format for about a minute. Go ahead. All right, excellent. Finish your last thought, whatever you're writing, just complete that with your pen, and then just put your pens down so I know that you're good. All right, so then you kind of have two options as a teacher. When you're taking your class through this, um, sometimes, and you'll know your class, right, the best. So sometimes I've actually given the students a slip of paper, right? So because the next step that we're, what we're going to do is called a walkabout, and the strategy involves traveling around the room and observing the ideas on other placemats. Um, I've tried it where students just walk about and they just kind of read and kind of get some ideas and they go back and they write them on there. Um, it's up to you. For today, I think, because you know, your teachers, we're just going to have you go placemat to placemat in our walkabout. But if I was doing this in my classroom, I've seen some good value in giving everybody a slip of paper and I've given them the goal of having like two or three ideas to steal from other sheets that are great ideas that they can come back and add to their placemat. So what I'm going to get you to do in a minute is travel and we're going to go clockwise. So you guys are going to travel over here and we're going to go there, come here. And your idea is, the idea is for you to go from placemat to placemat to place, back to your home placemat. Um, try to read everything on the placemat and if you see any great ideas that complement yours or you want to add to your placemat, you can do that when you get back to your placemat. Whenever you're done at a certain table, you can go to the next one. I won't, I won't kind of shift you that way. So you guys can get up and uh, travel around, do a walkabout. So as you return to your uh, home placement, you can add some ideas that hopefully you found and you can also discuss with other people at your tables that if you saw any great ideas or if there's any connection pieces that you can make that way. All right, and finally the last step that what you're going to do is as a group you are going to come up with the top three factors that influence people's attitudes towards tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs. All right.